concrete there boy But love a juice, watch out, check it, boom You know what I mean? Me the out a whole 14, you know what I mean? And reload my next summer what up everybody, it's your boy, this my sneaker head in the house Coming with a very special review and opinion on the Penny Pack That came out last Saturday on Nike.com and at select retailers um, I'm going to just jump right into it first and foremost I'm probably the most excited for this pack more than any other shoe so far this year More than any Jordans, more than the Yeezy uh, foams or aka Laser Crimson foams More than the Kobe's, KD's, LeBron's whatever has come out. This pack right here is so dope, primarily because of this shoe right here, which is the Shooting Stars foam posit ones that Penny wore during the Celebrity All-Star Game back in 2012, I believe. Less to do with these right here, these little pennies, but I'll get into that later on. Man, for y'all who tuning into my channel, I appreciate the support. Make sure you hit that thumbs up comment subscribe let me know what y'all think that truly lets me know lets me know that you enjoy the vids that you enjoy the content but colorway is sick on these foam posit ones got the icy blue bottom which i really love and then just the white upper the shooting stars which i believe a 3m they got the blue put pretty basic colorway but as we know us foam heads we love the basic colorways that's where it's at. All the crazy colorways Nike did last year, waste of time. They didn't sell well. They were atrocious looking. And man, these are just beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I absolutely love these right here. Oh, I'll probably be holding this for a while after this video because these are so sick. I mean, the detail, the subtleties of the shoe, Got the one seat right there, the penny logo right there, that icy, icy, icy blue bottom. This is so sick. <laughs> Side note, people are walking by in my place and they looking at me like, what the hell is this person doing over here? But they don't know about this sneakerhead life. The outsole, love the stars that are on the underlay of the shoe here, so I don't know if y'all can see it very very dope very clean this is oh so sick i'm so hyped to cop these now here is the yay right here this is the nay <laughs> the little petty posits i mean the idea behind little pennies having his own posit that was a dope idea but this shoe to me is a big disappointment i mean i saw some of the earlier sketches and samples and they looked way better than this year and yeah honestly i thought it would what really would have been a sick penny pack is if they had these shooting stars and then a second pair of faux posit ones in this solo silhouette so imagine this right here okay with all black icy bottom you have the reflective laces. You would have maybe the stars that are on the the heel and toe. If y'all can see that. Have that going throughout the shoe. Or maybe just reverse it even. Even if you had these, had this black, which had this black here, had this maybe in uh, all blue maybe. Have this all black upper, all blue here, maybe black here. Or if we if this was black with some of the the shooting star imprint along here the same icy blue bottom i think it would have been dope if nike went ahead and did a black and white pair of the shooting star or even a, a white and a royal blue so take the traditional royal blueprint put the shooting stars here maybe make this portion black i think that would be dope too yeah that was just an idea that i had two foam posit ones a white shooting star and a black shooting star, in my opinion, would have been hella dope. I'm sure functionally wise, it probably functions really well. But I just do not like the shape of this shoe. It looks bulky. It looks wider than the foams. I mean, look at the comparison. Look at the wideness of these kicks right here. I mean, I don't know if y'all can tell in the video. But they're so wide. Absolutely can't. 
stand them. Like, I love the colorway. I love the subtleties of this kick. You know what I'm saying? Like the little stars here. Little stars. I mean, I've got a little bit of blue issue here, if y'all can see it. But love the stars. Love the stars here on the shoe. Love the outsole and the insole. But this entire upper, mm -mm, I'll pass. Not feeling it at all. Not feeling it whatsoever. And as everybody knows, we were all hoping this would these uh, foam positive ones would um, be sold separately. And rumor has it that they are going to release these later in the year separately. So if that happens, I'm definitely going to cop a pair um, and try to double up on the foam positive ones. The little pennies, they were supposed to release All Star Weekend. They didn't. There was supposed to be a black red pair. And there's been rumors of when they were going to come out, but clearly Nike did this just as a sales ploy because people were not filling these. The reception I'm sure they were getting for the little penny posits was not good, and that's why I think they went and did this pack. So you're going to look at the box. We got a lot of intricate details. I don't know if you can see it. We got Penny, got Lemonade. I'm guessing he loves Lemonade. We got his broken ankle here. We got two we got little penny. We got pros. We got a whole bunch of things that were basically a silhouette of Penny's life. Got a little penny right here on some crutches. That's pretty dope right there. Little penny on some crutches. We got the cell phone, rockets, just different aspects of uh, Penny's life. Probably end up rocking these tomorrow just because I don't like these shoes and I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna throw them on. Nike made a spend. The kind of bread we spent for really this shoe. This shoe isn't even worth 250. Honestly, this worth shoe is maybe 150 to 170 tops. These will be on the clearance rack uh, very, very soon. I'm certain of that. Once these start coming out on their own for retail. But anyway, overall, I'm hyped because I got these beautiful kicks right here. Let me know if you were lucky to cop these. Um, I know they were a limited release, but they weren't uber limited. So hopefully everybody was able to get a pair and stay tuned for my uh, shots, my photos after this uh, this review. And with that being said, it's your boy, it's Smart Sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.